Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I am your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today we will finally be reacting to the long-awaited Don to Don episode 1. Now, I know this is in a lot of people's most anticipated fall 2024 anime. It's also in my list as well, but I don't know too much about this series. I'm going into this basically completely blind. All I know is that I think the main characters are like big into sci-fi stuff. I don't remember if it was like robots and aliens or aliens and ghosts or robots and ghosts it was one of those two but outside of that i really don't know what to expect here all i know is there's a ton of hype around this series that's why it's high on my list but let's see if it can deliver man let's see if this anime here can live up to all of the praise that people have been giving it or at least people that have read the manga have been giving it so if you guys are excited for the episode make sure to leave a like while you're down there don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that you guys know whenever I drop a brand new reaction. And also do not forget that if you head on over to the Patreon and join the $2 tier, then you'll get access to all of my uncut reactions. But with that out of the way, let's dive into this. That's sick. And then we just jump right into it. Ooh! She doesn't play! Dang, she was about to take his head off, bro. This girl's a threat. <laughs> Classic delinquent walk <laughs> into the distance. And this is the friend group. Ken Takakura? What is he, a celebrity? So he was an ex, or maybe now he's an ex. Here we got our other MC. So it looks like, do we have a like popular girl with the nerd guy sort of situation going on here? She's hanging with him to help him, or I guess help save him from getting picked on. Dang. What? Oh, he's talking to her? Why is he looking the opposite direction? Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> is that a buff alien? <laughs> okay, so now we know who's into the aliens. Yeah, she's clearly got more important things to deal with. Dang. Dude, she's actually super nice. What the heck? I feel like most girls would have just walked away after saying that, especially in anime. Even though she's a little rough around the edges. She's got a heart of gold. Okay, so it's ghosts. And here it is, the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Dude, she's literally just a female version of him, bro. <laughs> On the outside, they're cooler. But once you get into ghosts, then she starts to nerd out just as much as he does over aliens. Serving me as a gopher. Okay. We got a little bit of a wager going on here. <laughs> yeah, this looks more like a ghost hotspot. Like a haunted, abandoned building? I wouldn't be surprised if you found both aliens and ghosts living here. <laughs> Just chilling, man. Dude. 
Oh, all done. It's just... Oh, so he's at the haunted place, and she's at the the alien hotspot. <laughs> <laughs> nah, miss me with that, bro. I think you can find aliens in here, too! A, like, abandoned sewer tunnel? <laughs> Dude, these visuals. I love how it looks like they're just having fun with the animation here, man. <laughs> I love that shot there. Oh, and the kids made fun of her. Damn. <laughs> wow. So she's always had that heart of gold. She cares more that her grandmother's ritual was made fun of rather than her being made fun of. Dude, these shots and these camera angles are so sick. Look, imagine that, bro. I couldn't. I'm sorry. I couldn't, bro. If I'm ever in a situation where I have a flashlight and I shine it in an area and I can't even see anything, like the flashlight just shines into complete darkness, I'm out of there, bro. You couldn't pay me to stay there. What the heck? Huh? What? What? Nah, Granny's down bad, bro. What did she say? <laughs> Gobble on that weenie, bro. What? Oh no. Oh, she's chasing him too. Oh god, bro. He can't outrun her. Oh my god, this terrible. Look, you can already see the place glitching out. Oh, what? Like, alien triplets. Oh, they got her. Jesus. What are they gonna do, eat her? Or abduct her. Yeah. Yep, yep. Classic. <laughs> yeah, sure! <laughs> Take it proper care. <laughs> You want your bananas? I don't even want to know what that means. What? Ah! Who's got it the worst? Hey, vote in the comments, bro. Who's got it the worst? Her or him? I think the answer is clear to me. Psychokinesis? Ah, oh, this is so weird, bro. Nope. Ah! Yeah, answer that call. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What? Oh! The grandma? She broke the- ah! Look like she gobbled someone's weenie. <laughs> oh man. Oh. So they're fused together? She's like possessing him, kinda. Aliens versus ghosts. Showdown of a lifetime. Oh. 
What? Wait, they're really throwing down! Yeah, rip his hat off. Or his weenie. <laughs> Dude! This is insane! Dang. So now we get his backstory. And then she saved him. Oh, he's fighting back. There you go. Dang. <laughs> he gave up already. <laughs> he said, no, nope, that's all I've got. Jeez, put these things away, man. Oh, is it time for her to use her grandmother's teachings? Oh, see, this is the question I was wondering. Maybe I missed it and they said it earlier, but I was thinking like, did her- Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, this is so fire. Maybe she is going to like, channel her grandmother into herself, kind of like do a seance on herself, and use her grandmother's, I don't know, spirit powers and stuff to fight back or something. I think that's what's going on here. It's time. Yep. There we go. Just like earlier. But this time she's taking the head off. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, that's cool. So their base is like disguised as a fake moon. Oh, we still gotta deal with that though. Hey, she doesn't have a weenie for you to gobble up here. I want to find someone else. What? There's so much going on, bro. <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> so his weenie's just done for, bro. Bro, what a chaotic first episode. Dang. Well, hey, at least they made it out. And I bet you even after all of this, there's not gonna be any like tangible evidence. Like something's gonna happen that makes it all disappear. So it goes back to being a mystery again. Looks like she's already made her decision. Let's go, dude. These two are basically inseparable now. Oh, yeah, this is no Ken Takakuda. But it looks like she's still catching feels. What? <laughs> what the heck? So he's literally got the exact same name as him. That's hilarious. Alright, so that was the end of the episode, and what an absolutely fire episode. If you guys are new to the channel, at the end of every single episode, I like to give you guys a question of the day. And today's question of the day is going to be, before all of the like psychic powers and everything came into play, would you rather be stuck in a situation where you were being basically hunted by this crazy granny ghost like Okarun, or would you rather uh, <laughs> be in Ayasa's situation, stuck inside of that alien ship with aliens that were trying to, uh, uh, e extract your parts, basically, bro. Let me know which one you think is worse in the comment section down below. For me, I'm gonna have to go with ISS situation. That was just 
Oh man, that nah, man. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy, bro. That seems like that would have been a nightmare. But let me know who you guys would choose in the comment section down below. And with that, I'm going to head out. Thank you all so much for watching this far into the video, and I will catch you all in the next one. Have a good one.